The Warid Group is part of the United Arab Emirates based diversified Abu Dhabi Group. Bati had in 2010 bought a majority stake in Warid's Bangladesh Telecom Operations. While Bati Airtel has not disclosed the price paid, analysts reckon that the Indian company would have paid about 224 to 280 million US dollars. Four years ago, the ESA Group, which wanted to buy Warid's operations in Uganda and Congo Brazzaville but did not complete the transaction, had pegged the valuations for the two countries at 318 million US dollars. The latest deal comes at a time Bati is facing regulatory and legal hurdles in its home market and as it tries to turn around its loss-making African operations. Bati, about 32% owned by Singapore Telecommunications Limited, entered Africa in June 2010 by buying the African telecom operations of Mobile Telecommunications Company. On Tuesday, Bati said the acquisition will increase its number of subscribers in Uganda to more than 7.4 million and make the company the second largest telecom operator in the African country with a market share of 39%. Its local unit, Airtel Uganda Limited, currently has 4.6 million users. Telecom companies in Uganda are also facing regulatory hurdles. The country's parliament passed rules which include provisions to regulate phone call tariffs and double the levy that telecom companies need to pay the government for setting up networks in rural areas. But and other companies in Uganda are negotiating with the government to overturn some of these rules. The Indian company had said earlier this year. Sharon Kembawazi. Tiaba Setumba, NBS Television, Business.